this afternoon we're in Elphinstone Primary School in East Lothian. Uh, it's the Oi Musica Street Band Project uh, in collaboration with East Lothian Council and YMI Music. Remember our expectations that we talked about at the start of the project are still just as important right now. They are to always have, have fun with music, enjoy yourselves. Our next expectation is to try your best. Always try your best, very good. And what was the third expectation? Um, work, together. work together as a team. As a We're at Elphinstone Primary School and we're doing a street band with trumpets and trombones and yeah, drums. Um, we are playing the brass instruments and it's been really good. I like playing the trombone and I think we've been doing it for five weeks. The Street Band is a new idea for collaboration which incorporates the Youth Music Initiative's Carnival Street Band programme and the instructor from the Instrumental Music Service. It's a really exciting prospect for us to be able to take these young people on a musical journey from the excitement of this initial project to hopefully lifelong music making through the Instrumental Music Service. When I first mentioned it to the children they were like, oh brass instruments, we'd rather play guitar, guitar's cool. Um, and then from the first session, the, the kids just loved it. it. We've been really surprised at the level of engagement from all the children. Um, so every single child in my class just loves it and lives for the Thursday when we get band together. It makes me feel like um, I've do I'm doing something that not everyone else will get it, be able to do. They're really nice. Um, I think they've taught us well. It's really fun. So how could you make a bouncy sound on a trumpet? Really, it's a fantastic opportunity to allow kids who wouldn't normally want to come forward um, to just explore different things, um, encourage different sounds and ideas um, and, and just really show them another path that they may not necessarily have been offered the opportunity for. When we first started I was very anxious but as we started playing more and more, I started feeling a bit better and started playing a bit more. The thing for us with this collaboration is the initial excitement of having the professional practitioners in the school. To work with an organisation such as Oi Musica is an incredible opportunity for the young people and for them to witness that professionalism, that dynamic approach and that excitement and genuine passion about music at the outset of their journey is something very unique indeed. What has been amazing is the excitement, you can feel the buzz in school on a Thursday, the children are, are loving music, they're experiencing things they didn't actually ever believe they could do, and more than that, the guys are really cool, they're much cooler than a head teacher, so they absolutely love being with them. The project will run for 10 weeks, and then at the end of that 10 weeks, uh, it's hoped that then students will wish to continue to learn and I will be coming into the school and tutoring them weekly, giving them brass instruction. The project itself is really easy to notice already that it helps build the confidence with the students. Um, they've got a good rapport with uh, the, the tutors. Uh, it's full of energy, very vibrant. Um, there are no barriers. Every idea is listened to, uh, which helps encourage the communication between the grown-ups and, and the, the students as well. It's not always about creating 
creating the nicest, fantastic, brilliant sounds. It's about doing different things with their music, and that's what a lot of this is all about. The the project itself is a is a fantastic opportunity, not just for um, the school and, and the the community, um, for me as well. Uh, what noise? To see how uh, to see how other instructors <laughs> work, wheels, um, get different ideas. Uh, how they work with their groups and that kind of thing, how there are no barriers with any sort of set uh, pieces of music and that kind of thing, uh, so teaching rhythms and sounds and exploring different ways the instruments speak and that kind of thing. Um, traditionally I'm a lot more channeled than that, so I'm learn I've learned things for, for watching the, the, the guys work as well, uh, and I'm going to incorporate that into my playing and also into my ensemble work that I do in schools anyway. I see this as a really important stepping stone. It's been a fantastic pilot run to see how a youth music initiative project can work together with an instrumental music service project and to bring it all together and then to be able to roll it out to other schools feels like a really great thing to do and I'm very excited about the possibilities that we have ahead here. Well we're going to do a show in our gym hall with the P456. They're on drums and, we're, and my class is on the trombones and the trumpets. nervous like performing in front of people but I'm excited at the same time. I think it would be fun playing letting other um inspiring other people so they could think like if they wanted to do the drums or trumpet or trombone one day and they could do it. It's the teamwork, they're playing together and playing together as a band. And I think that's been fabulous. And all the children want to continue with their learning so they will get tuition on a one-to-one -one basis in the, in the school afterwards. What's going to be amazing for our children is the opportunity is going to be there for them to continue on with brass um, instruments with Charlie Farron, um, our brass instructor, and I just know he's going to be overwhelmed with, with our young people wanting to take up that offer. We've, uh, we've been working for eight, nine weeks in the school, and it's the first time that we've actually turned a whole school from P3 up to P7 into one great big band. So the kids are learning from their peers and they're learning across the age ranges, which is really new and a really fantastic way of working. And it's fantastic to see the kids being signposted from a gateway activity that we're doing all the way into one-to-one um, -one lessons and then through into high school and then into the instrumental music service. Um, so it's fantastic. It's been a really amazing opportunity for Youth Music Initiative in East Lothian to work together with Instrumental Music Service. This just really sets kids up, it gives them something to follow through and it's been really meaningful working together with Instrumental Music Service. What's pretty cool is I've never, I never thought I would be able to do this and uh, yeah, overall it's been amazing. I felt really good before it and really proud of myself after it. I just feel more comfortable playing with more people than just me. I'd like to keep playing the, the trombone if I had the chance. We've always done things a certain way in the past and, and things are evolving and changing all the time. So going forward it may be that when, 
when we're beginning to uh, offer lessons to new students, rather than uh, just asking for folk who wish to uh, try to learn to play, maybe we do it as a project method like this. The same sort of ideas and give everybody the opportunity. And it might actually just be an easier way uh, uh, encouraging and recruiting new students who wish to get involved in music going forward and make that part of their learning through primary and then carrying forward into secondary school. All in all, being part of this project has really brought it to life. We, it has helped us to, to focus on the four capacities of the Curriculum for Excellence and supporting our children to develop the skills and attributes they need for now and through their life. So uh, we just from Elfie, we just want to say a huge thank you to Jonathan initially for making it happen and obviously to the team from um, Youth Music Initiative for, for making it happen. P7, who would like to continue with uh, brass instrument after this project? That's yes. amazing. Fantastic. Because it's fun, inspiring, could change my life if I keep on doing it.